Go. What's up? This is Psycho Red, and you're watching Wolf Thunder Ranger. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to some Lone Warrior Solar Ranger. I'm your host, Wolf Thunder Ranger. Today, we'll be tagging Solar Ranger today as our Lone Warrior. Yes, I'm going to spoil it for you already. She's godly as shits and giggles. Let's get started. Now, why is Solar Ranger godly? It's because of her two shields, but that doesn't make her godly. Those shields aren't fast like Guile's. It's definitely her primaries, without a doubt, because the primaries is where all the magic happens. Now, in Lone Warrior with Solar, it always becomes situational. Obviously, you can get turtled out of your primaries or your shields don't work. But for some reason, she's still an S-Class Lone Warrior, just because of what her primaries can do. I mean, that guy went from 42,000, legit 42,000, all the way down to 21,000. He took 21,000 worth of damage. 21,200. Or, you know, greater, less. So, we're going to get our ass kicked a little bit more. Believe it or not, this is when he started to realize he didn't have to really do much. Wait for the breaker, react, and pretty much this is where Solar falters. That breaker is, again, situational to the T, because you don't know what you're going to do in the match. Nothing's going to happen your way. You take a hit. One, two, yeah. You're, obviously, Zanaku has too much power. Tried to chalk ram it. Did not work, but it was a good rush nonetheless. Gave him time to build. Went for that again. See how I'm trying to rush it as best I can. It's not working out. He got that move off. I'm stuck with a breaker again. Trying to pull this off. Miss it. I for somehow survived by the skin of my teeth. I didn't dash forward. And now this is why Solar Ranger is an S-Class Lone Warrior. Just because of this. Just this whole match legit shows you everything. I just had to do this combo reset one last time. That's how godly freaking Solar Ranger really is. And that's how we're starting off this video. Let's rock the next match. Solar, Ra Solar Ranger is a pretty strong fighter, when in doubt. I'm sorry she is. Is she OP? Eh. Is she beatable? Of course. Can you counter a lot of her things? Oh, most definitely. That's why I don't think she's too broken. She needs these this moveset just to even thrive. Keep that in mind. She's not all that in a bag of chips. Just remember that. Yeah, she's like, oh, she's so good. But look at that. The struggle of hit, getting hit by strike characters legit kills the character in a lot of ways. And that's like the beauty of this character. All this strike assisting, you can kill her with that. It just goes to show like where you're at with this character. See, so look, another strike. What can I do? Take that Blake hit. I mean, seriously, what can I do? I can't do much. So Blake does his thing. And we go. And we explode with the power of thunder. So Lone Warrior-wise, yes, yeah, she is very strong. But again, can be situational depending. Woohoo! Again. Woohoo! Especially when, you have no, especially when you have nothing but breakers. It's not like you can counter. They actually fixed Void Chakra, so that made her a lot better. Should have went full idiot, but something in my mind said, don't do it. Something's going to happen. And you know what? I'm glad I listened to my mind. Woohoo! Nice catch. You should have went full. Nice block. Nice hit. And I'm going to die. Or not. I missed that. Sadly. But he didn't have enough energy since Blake got that nerf. Woo! And I survived by the grin of my teeth again. The power of thunder. On to the next. Solar Ranger is strong, but you must always keep in mind she can get turtled out the booty, which kills the character. Yes, you would try to have to bail out the strike. Your opponent would have to attempt the block. But again, getting hit, I think, is more likely for the block to happen most of the time. So went for that. He didn't shield, so that kept us safe. That was a close one. Oof, just barely caught Goldar in the air. So that was 18,000 worth of damage worth. Try to do that. That was a big fail. One, two. It could have blocked that one. Get it by a punch. More already dying. Goldar hits like a freaking truck. Boom, boom, boom. No block. He was trying to rebuild energy. I can respect that. Breaker again. Go. Save that vortex spin. Trying to predict that move is not easy. Nope. I was supposed to cancel that. Went full idiot. Bad idea. And I took that. Nice reaction time. 
One, two. Okay, he didn't hit three. That's why he couldn't counter it. So we were safe. That's why it's always good to rush sometimes, and then it's not good to rush most of the time. If you have no choice, you have no choice. And there comes Guile. Here comes the punch. And I'm already dead. One more slice attack, and we're dead. Oof! So that's why he did that. He didn't have a shield. Makes more sense now. After re after replaying this match, that makes a lot more sense. And as you know, Solar Rangers primaries, Keeper Godly. Keeping that shield in the assist slot is always godly. Because all you need is solar power. Next. Oh. I legit forgot hit play on this match. Whoops. All right. Let's uh, retackle it again because I forgot hit play. So, yeah, this is a match against Gemma. This thing happens a lot. Gemma's a pretty good fighter. Gemma's a pretty good counter against Solar Ranger if you play Gemma right. Especially catching your opponent in the air. This is the main goal. Chalk Ram. Didn't have enough for Ranger Slayer. Capitalize the damage. Let's go. Boy, Chalk Ram still doing some great damage, by the way. Seriously, this is just easy tie-up sometimes. That's what Solar does, especially when she can max out 18,000 combo damage. Or as you all saw, the 21,000 combo damage with primaries, which is actually, I think, one of the highest combo combo characters right now in this game. So yeah, there's that. Try to do that. That was a fail. Get shot. That's how that ended. Scoop that. That was a good woof. A nice whiff. We're going to spin again. Awesome. Go for that breaker. Let's go. Oof. Go spin again. Oof. Yeah, Soul Ranger just has so much freaking power as a Lone Warrior. It's like crazy. Trying to play this Gemma match right. Try to get through all that shield nonsense. We got a couple hits in. All that mattered. Canceled it just in time for some extra damage. Soul Ranger's too golly with those cancels, honestly. It's crazy. So we got all that in. We're good. We're watching out for the ice attack. He summons Guile. Smart move, but this was a bad move because he only pulled off the ice from there. And then he got the rest of it, which is good. But he still wasted a good amount of energy, but he can still rebuild. Try to rush down. Did not work. Me waiting. I took it. Blocked that. Thunder! And GG it. Whoopoo! Yeah, Solar Ranger's like really crazy. Let's get two more matches in. We'll call it quits for some Lone Warrior action. Solar Ranger is a crazy character. There's no doubt in my mind. Yes, you all think she's like the best thing since sliced bread. Yes, she does feel kind of meta. But the thing is about Solar Ranger is you just got to play the matchup right. That's how most of these things work. Most of these things work. Oh, dang it. Don't watch this. Don't watch. Sorry about that. That was a mistake battle. I accidentally used the assist. So we're not going to watch it. Let's get to a real one. All right, back to this. So, Goldar again, because Goldar's so freaking good now. Everyone should be using him. Chalk Ram did not save me. Ate that full sword slash like a good person. Good. Had to capitalize. He had double breakers, which is shocking, actually. I mean, that's the best thing I can hope for on my opponent. Double breakers plus a shield? That always helps. Always. So we're getting them attacks in. We're doing great. We're re maximizing damage output. That was practically 20,000. Jesus Christ, this character needs some work. Okay, scratch that. That was more damage added on. That was a mistake, and I wouldn't have took that. He's still holding on to his shield. I'm trying to bait this strike out. But I didn't, because I'm stupid. I went for the breaker. He was holding on to the shield. Wasn't going to allow it. Spin. Vortex spin. Vortex spin, breaker power, let's rock it, oof. Yeah, she's just she's crazy. I didn't follow up for that time. Guile was a mistake, I'll tell you that much. Chakram! Woohoo! That's usually how it always works. Oof. And one more match, guy. And we're in our last match, folks. This is where everything comes down to it. Solar Ranger's last Lone Warrior attempt. And we're going to call it quits for her. We already know she's S tier in that field to a degree. But it always depends. Power of Thunder! I already lost half your health. Just from that one attack. Wish Trent was like that. Shit, I wish Korag was like that. Maybe he got his wolf attack back to three so he's playable or something. Just throwing it out there. Just ideas. That was a good... That last hit was definitely worth every penny. 
So we go for that vortex spin. We go vortex spin again. We go for some breaker damage because it's all about that damage. Let's go. So we're pretty much getting ready for our void chakram. ram. There it is. Whoop. And that's some good damage. Scoop. And boom. Boom, boom. Yeah. Solar range is just too damn good, honestly. Like, my god. This is an epic, so I wonder what their next legendary is going to be. Is it going to be as we want it to be? That's the question. He just got the shield. You got to seriously start blocking this character sometimes. I know it's crazy because she can have a breaker next. That was a waste. I had to waste that shield. That was the smartest move I could have possibly done in the smash just to get my solar ranger back up and running. But that kick was not the best of ideas. So we hit him. Boom. And break her one more time. GG's. And we're going to conclude there. So yeah, Solar Ranger, busted, godly, holy crap, what a lone warrior. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching another episode of Lone Warrior. I'm trying to do as much as I can this week before I go off to clinics. So you guys can have enough Lone Warrior segments to watch. Peace out.